If you guys are watching or listening to this on day one, aka the first day like this video comes out, which is on Friday, that means that tomorrow I'll be 28 years old officially. Mm. Happy birthday to you. Or if you're watching it any other day other than day one, that means I'm already 28. And as many of you know by now, if you guys have been following the channel for any period of time, or if you guys have been following me on social media for any amount of time, you know that I always like to use my birthdays as a time to reflect on how the past year went, as well as try to find what lessons I may have learned and try to see what wisdom I can impart onto you guys, the listeners. You're so smart. Also on a side note, everyone has been telling me, and many of them actually haven't even realized that like my 20th birthday is coming up, but like, I've been hearing from everyone recently for some reason that I haven't aged at all in the past 10 years, which is actually exactly what I love to hear. And there's also like a very good reason for that, which is because I take care of myself both internally and externally. I'm very careful when it comes to the people who I allow into my life, so I make sure like that I'm always surrounded by the right people. I'm always doing my best to be as active as possible, to be as present as possible in every moment. And of course, every day I'm, I'm working my best and trying to level up my life to get better every day and to be the best version of myself. So I believe that like doing all those things is always gonna keep me young and getting better with time. I'm like fine wine, I get better with time. Also, at the end of this video, I will be including my yearly physique update, which is a flex. Yeah, buns and ties. To keep me accountable and it's also like a fun thing that like, I like to do every year for me to make sure I'm looking my best, feeling my best, and setting new goals every year as well. So without further ado, let's dive into this video now, or let's dive backwards into this past year. Dun dun dun. What's happening guys, welcome back to the Jared and James channel, I'm Jared Weiss, if you guys didn't know that, miss me now, subscribe to the channel so you know what to do, hit that subscribe button, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, let me know your thoughts on this video, follow me on every platform, also if you guys haven't done so already, make sure to check out my book, Fight Through It by Jared Weiss, which was like released officially, I believe, probably around 4 or 5 weeks ago now, and the feedback I've been getting has been so powerful, a lot of people have been getting super emotional, and have been telling me how awesome this book is, but I really need your help in getting it out there, spreading the word, and getting this book out to as many people as possible because I really believe that like, this book has the power to change lives and it could help a lot of people. So you guys can find all the links to purchase it on my website, which is jaredryanweiss.com. That's J-A-R-E-D-R-Y-A-N-W-E-I-S-S.com. All the links to purchase it will be on there. So first off, if you guys haven't seen my reflection slash compilation video of mine and James's friendship over the past 10 years, since he's at college as of right now. Fun. It's okay. Which is hard to believe for me, and it's also like sad for me, but I'm also extremely proud of him, and I'm extremely proud of the person who he is, and I'm grateful for all the incredible memories that like, me and him have made over the past 10 years, and for all the memories that, like we're going to continue to make in the future. So I suggest that like, you guys check that out if you haven't done so already, especially if you guys really want to get emotional and want to start tearing up, because I think I may have actually done too good of a job on that post, because every time I watch it back, even though I'm the one who made it, I can't stop getting emotional. But that's actually where I'm going to start when it comes to the life lessons from this past year. I'm going to start with something that, that my best friend James, aka co-creator of this channel, who's a brother and family to me. So James always taught me, and still teaches me every time I'm around him, to embrace every moment. Treat every moment with people you love as special as possible. It's like this thing that one of the camp directors at the camp that like, I used to work at, which is actually the same place where I met James, used to always say. He used to always say, we didn't realize that we were making memories, we just knew that like we were having fun. So never underestimate the importance of, of building your strong inner circle, spend time with them, be creative, be silly, be yourself around them, find people who value that, and you really have to value that friendship so much, because as I always say, if you have that one special friend, and anything beyond that is just like a bonus, but if you have just that one really special friend who you can grow with, that could actually be what sets you apart from everyone else in terms of success and happiness. It's that important. I've heard so many stories of people who back in high school had tons and tons of friends, but like none of them were actually true friends, and then what ends up happening later on, they didn't really have like that special support group or that one super supportive friend who they could grow with, and then like it ends up sending them back much later on, but like it actually took them a long time to realize that. Many months later. So find your true friends, know who's really there for you, understand people who have 
who have similar goals to you and choose to grow with them, help them out, cheer for them, make sure like they're always cheering for you because having that is going to be what sets you apart from, from the people who claim to have millions of friends but like don't have any true friends. The next life lesson like I learned in this past year is that if you want something to happen bad enough, you and only you alone can ensure that like that thing happens. It's on you. Always has been. You may need some help along the way and there's no shame in asking for it, but when it comes to our biggest personal goals, you're not always going to have someone guiding you and pushing you along. You used to be able to do that for yourself. In addition to of course having having strong inner circle people who are going to always keep you on track as well. But as is the case with my book, which took me over four and a half years to write, I self-published it. My mom and I edited it. I designed the cover. I came up with all the ideas for it, etc, etc. That's me, baby. That's me. I did that. But most people would have given up if they didn't have someone guiding them along, pushing them every step of the way, making sure that like that work got done every day, which is essentially what the whole school system teaches you. But how many people are actually able to push themselves when it's needed? I wanted this thing bad enough. I knew how powerful the message I have in the book is, and then know like. That, that's part of my larger purpose for being here. So I was going to be someone who got that book done come hell or high water and through all the obstacles and trust me, there were definitely plenty of them, but I wasn't going to stop until I had the book exactly how I wanted it and until I was ready to release it. So I hope that like, that can serve as a lesson for you guys, like that, that if you want something bad enough, of course you have to stay patient because once again, this took me four and a half years to finish. But if you want something bad enough, you're going to make it happen. You're going to find a way and you're going to prioritize it. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Because if not, it's not going to get done. And you don't want to be the person who, lo who lives with regret of starting something powerful and never finishing it. Next up, another very powerful lesson that like, I've learned this past year as well as over the past few years is that I've had a lot of people try to change me in very subtle ways over the years. But like I was always strong enough to stand my ground and understand who I am and understand who I want to be so I wasn't going to just change for anyone else. Let me explain further. There's always going to be the temptation of trying to fit in so that others will like you and they're going to try to get you to be more like everyone else and doing that, going along with that, going along with the crowd might be the quote unquote safer way. On the other hand, going your own route is often the harder path but it's also like the one that's going to lead to the most rewards. There's fewer guarantees and oftentimes more obstacles that have never been faced before because this is your own unique journey and this is your own path which a lot of people will just choose to go down the same path like everyone else is going down which is the conventional route but for instance often I have people trying to get me to change my content to make it more algorithm friendly and to get me to be just like everyone else be, be like every other creator out there because that way it's gonna make me more money and to get me more followers faster but how often is it that the fast route actually leads to more success in the end. I mean, aren't we all familiar with the story of the tortoise and the hare? Who ends up actually winning in the end? The tortoise, the one who goes slow, who does things the right way, as opposed to the hare, who just wanted that fast success. So as I'll often say, and as I'll often remind myself, I'm not in this just to figure out the algorithm. I'm in this to create a long lasting impact on people's lives. I want it to mean something. And of course, I do want the success with that, but not at the expense of becoming someone who I'm not. There's a reason why we as humans often appreciate the things that are custom made as opposed to mass produced by factories. It's because when something is handmade, when something is, is personalized by that person, you know how much work actually went into that. You know the heart behind it. And you also know like there's a powerful story and a powerful message behind it. As opposed to the person who just does things just like everyone else because that's like same thing as being mass produced by a factory. But if we're all divinely created with a purpose for being here by God, then we need to honor that. You need to value your custom made path. I know like this is the theme of a lot of my videos, but I can't emphasize it enough. If you conform to everyone else, you end up losing yourself in the process. And this leads me to another point, which is it's sometimes hard for someone my age because you often start to look around and see everyone else doing things, whether it be starting a family or getting married. Believe it or not, he's getting married. What? <laughs> or people settling down with, with their careers or jobs. And of course, there's any and all kinds at my age. So while a lot of people are doing those things, there's also the complete opposite. But my point being that we all do things at different times. And I know that like if I were to copy what those people were doing when I'm not in that phase of my life right now and I'm not ready for those things I would end up being unhappy and I would end up paying the price for it and who's to say like maybe the next phase of my life will include those things maybe the phase after that so you're telling me there's a chance 
Who knows? I'm not guaranteeing anything because I don't want to force anything. Everything will happen when it's meant to and everything happens for a reason. So even if those things never come my way, I'll understand that like as long as I'm following my path, I'm following my purpose, that I'm going to be rewarded in the end. There's always going to be these societal pressures to do everything by a certain age or else you'll start to see yourself as a failure. What about me? You're nobody. Why him? Why not me? He's good. You're not. If you didn't accomplish this by that age. But just as with anything else, if you're, if you're able to delay gratification, stay patient, not forcing things to happen before they're ready on your path. Not on someone else's, but like on your path. You do things at your own pace, even if it may seem like every other person is doing the complete opposite of you. Stick with the opposite. You're going to end up being rewarded in the end versus the people who just did things because everyone else was doing them or because society told them like, they had to do things. Not everyone goes to college, not everyone gets a steady paying job, not everyone has a big family. But does that mean that like if you don't do those things, you're not enough? You are enough like you are and that's why God created you. Why would God put you here with your own divine purpose if you weren't enough? If you couldn't handle whatever life threw at you? So remember, we all go at our own pace, we're on our own journeys, and so just because everyone else is doing something right now doesn't mean like doing that is right for you. And if you did try to change that, you're going to be the one paying for it in the end. And this also brings me to another very good story that I have to tell. So the other day, when I was celebrating my birthday with my best friend James, before we went to college, I was talking with him about how my ideal birthday is so different from everyone else's my age. So like, the way that like, me and James celebrated was we started by going to H Mart, which is a Korean supermarket where we got some delicious fruit and sushi and some other good stuff. Then we had a whole sports competition where we were playing soccer tennis, which is a very fun sport, which I definitely want to bring to the channel at some point. Then we were playing ping pong, the knock hockey. Then after that, we played poker. We played this, we played this board game called Blockus, and I absolutely loved it. And then after that, James took me out to dinner at my favorite place, which is Burger Village, which is our, which is our classic spot. And then to cap off the night, we saw the movie Deadpool in 3D. Deadpool and Wolverine in 3D. Wolverine. It damn straight it is. Disney brought him back. They're gonna make him do this till he's 90. And so I absolutely love that. That's like my favorite type of day. It's wholesome and it's and it's totally Jared. Other people my age, their ideal birthday might be going out drinking, going out clubbing, going out to all the bars. But like I know that like if I were to do that, I'd be miserable because that's not who I am and that doesn't reflect my goals and what I like to do for fun. That's not to knock anyone else who does the things for fun, but like it's to say that we all need to keep our own individuality. Not just do things just because society wants to or just because other people our age are doing it. But like do things that you love to do. Do things that like you're passionate about. Have fun in the ways that, like, that you love having fun. And you're going to find other people who appreciate you for that. So once again, it's not to judge anyone who does things differently for fun than I do, but it's just to say that each of us is different, each of us is unique, so we need to embrace that and embrace who we are, not try to change it just to please someone else. Moving right along, probably the last and final lesson I'm going to cover in this video is that you can't stop time and you can't stop things from changing because that's just like part of life, things are always going to be in constant motion. The wheels are in motion! The wheels are in motion! Things are happening! What you can do is trust in knowing that most of the time, Things do end up working out, and most of the time, things do end up working out for the better and the way like that they were meant to. Just as the case as what happened with my book. So like, the book should have been released four weeks before when it actually did, but like, I ended up having to go through Amazon deleting my account. I have to go through making my own website. I have to make sure all the people like who I mentioned in the book were all okay with that, which was a whole struggle in and of itself. But you know what? The book ends up coming out amazing, and it ends up reflecting me. Ends up saying exactly what I wanted it to. It happened exactly the way it was meant to. I've always been someone who, who struggles with and, and hates change. Times have changed! Because change is scary. And like, especially especially when everything's are going really great for me. I'm always worried that like everything's just going to flip over in an instant. And then like, I'm going to be unhappy. And then like, everything's going to end up going downhill. And like, a lot of that probably comes down to like, having gone through a whole life learning illness. As well as my, as well as my whole healing journey. I've had everything taken away from me at one point or another. But I've also gained the appreciation as I work to get everything back. This also gives me a new perspective on life. It makes me value my time with my friends and family more. It makes me value every special moment I have. And so as hard as it can be when things change, as you get older, as the people in your life get older, it can be tough. Don't get me wrong, I get super emotional when I think about these things, such as like when my best friend James goes to college. I miss him so much already, and I wish like that we could just like pause time. But also, if you do pause time, you don't get to experience all the all the amazing things that could come as you're living your life. As James actually once said to me, when you think about it, when does time move the fastest? Whenever we're having the most fun. So 
if you did actually slow down the time, then how much fun could you really have? And as the famous quote by Dr. Seuss goes, which is the one like I used in that compilation video that like, I posted the other day, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened, all you can do is just focus on keep keeping creating new memories, creating as many positive happy memories as you can, because then when you look back, you have no regrets. And that's a brief segment I want to I want to read from my book goes, which is chapter 74. Click, don't fast forward through life. There's much good to be found within the bad. As the movie Click shows us, you should not fast forward your life or be living on autopilot. There's much to be learned during times when life knocks you down. There's often much more good going on in our lives than we even realize. I have always tried to be an optimist and maintain my positive, happy outlook on life. And most of the time, I've succeeded. However, having gone through everything with my health, it was definitely impossible to always be happy every second, and I think that's understandable. Yet every day, I would wake up with hope that today was going to be the day I felt better. Imagine doing that for over nine years. There were and have been times when I would fake a smile or tell people that I was good and everything was going well, even when this was far from the truth. But also, many of my best times with friends and family and some of my most incredible accomplishments and favorite moments came during the years what what while I was going through my healing process. This is because I was open to appreciating them. I was looking for the little things to make me happy and I found them. Sometimes I get asked the question, do you wish things happened differently with your life? And the answer is a resounding no. I love my life. Through all the ups and downs and the bad times and the good, there's no such thing as life that's better than yours, which actually from the song Love Yours by J. Cole. As Jake Moscato said when I went on his podcast, nothing happened the way it shouldn't have for you. From the doctor who messed you up to being in the coma and taking the long healing journey with holistic health, everything happened the, exactly the way it was supposed to. The journey can be hard and you might not want to get up and go through all the dirty work all the time, day after day, but if you live on autopilot, <laughs> you're going to miss all the amazing little things that happen along the way. If I would have just sat in my house every day waiting, in, waiting until I was 100% healed, I would have been missing out on life. I wouldn't have had my times of overcoming and thriving in spite of adversity. I wouldn't have had my unbelievable times with friends. If I would have waited to talk until my speech was all better, I wouldn't have seen how compassionate and caring my loved ones really are and wouldn't have truly felt the struggle. You have to fully feel the struggles and the negative emotions in order to appreciate the great ones. You have to feel in order to heal. Hope you guys enjoyed that little excerpt from my book if I threw it because I think that, like, that actually is like a perfect concept like to reflect on when it comes to this video, when it comes to this reflection video. And finally, one final point I want to make before I do my physique check, aka my birthday flex, is that don't wait for the perfect time to do something. And also like, don't think that like happiness is going to come once you get to a certain point in your life. Start creating that happiness right now. Start being the person who's going to attract those things into your life. At the end of the day, happiness is like just a state of mind and you could be there right now if you choose to interact and align with the things that light up your heart, that light up your soul and that make you and that make you feel happy and grateful to be alive, being the person who you are and being the one who you're meant to be. So anyways guys, it's time for my physique check. I'll probably be doing that later. This is where I can get like some solid lighting. I'll do a little physique check now.
guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, let me know your thoughts on this video. Follow me on every platform. If you guys haven't done so already, make sure to buy my book. Check out all my content. And he's making this year the best one yet. Let's get it, guys. Stay hustling, stay grinding, stay positive. Don't wait for the perfect time. The perfect time to start is right now. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.